Is World War III knocking on our doors? Before we dive into this, let's rewind to the First World War, the war that was supposed to end all wars. The early 20th century was a time of burgeoning nationalism, militarism, and an intricate system of alliances that crisscrossed the globe. These factors, like dry tinder waiting for a spark, created a volatile environment ripe for conflict. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria in June 1914 provided that spark, igniting the powder keg and catapulting the world into the First World War. Nationalism, a fierce devotion to one's country, fueled the flames of conflict. Countries were eager to assert their dominance and protect their interests, often at the expense of their neighbors. Militarism, the belief in maintaining a strong military capability and readiness to use it, was another contributing factor. The major powers of the time were engaged in an arms race, each trying to outdo the other in military might. The intricate system of alliances, designed to maintain a balance of power, instead acted as a domino effect. When one country was pulled into war, its allies were dragged in two, turning a regional conflict into a global one. The consequences of the First World War were far-reaching. The Treaty of Versailles, intended to ensure peace, was seen by many, particularly in Germany, as a punitive and unjust peace. It sowed the seeds of resentment and anger that would later give rise to the Second World War. The League of Nations, established to prevent such a devastating war from happening again, ultimately failed in its mission. Its inability to enforce its decisions and prevent aggression from its member states undermined its effectiveness. The First World War was a devastating global conflict that was supposed to prevent future wars. But instead it set the stage for an even more destructive conflict. The Second World War, a dark chapter in human history, was a conflict of an unparalleled scale. It was the culmination of a series of unfortunate events marked by the rise of totalitarian regimes in Germany, Italy and Japan. In Germany, the economic hardships and national humiliation brought on by the Treaty of Versailles gave rise to the Nazi party under Adolf Hitler. The Nazis, with their aggressive expansionist policies, sought to establish a new world order driven by racial superiority and authoritarian rule. Similarly, Italy saw the rise of Benito Mussolini and his fascist party. Lured by the promise of a new Roman Empire, Italy too embarked on a path of aggressive expansionism. In the East, Japan under Emperor Hirohito was driven by a similar ambition. The desire for territorial expansion and resource control led to the invasion of Manchuria, which set the stage for the war in the Pacific. These totalitarian regimes, fueled by a toxic mix of nationalism, militarism, and a thirst for power, ignited the fuse of the Second World War. The Treaty of Versailles and the League of Nations, which were supposed to maintain global peace, failed miserably. The world was plunged into a war that was far more devastating and widespread than anyone could have predicted. The consequences of the Second World War were profound and far-reaching. The horrors of the war led to the creation of the United Nations, an international organization designed to prevent such a catastrophe from ever happening again. But the war also gave rise to new tensions. The ideological split between the democratic West and the communist East set the stage for the Cold War a period of political and military tension that lasted for almost half a century. The Second World War was a catastrophic global conflict that reshaped the world. It gave birth to new alliances and rivalries that still shape international relations today. Now we find ourselves asking, are we on the brink of a Third World War? In our present day, we're witnessing international tensions rise, marked by the conflict in Ukraine and the strained relations between the US and Russia. The stakes are high and the consequences of these tensions escalating into a global conflict could be devastating. Let's delve into the Ukraine conflict. Here we have a nation standing strong in the face of an aggressive neighbor, Russia. The calls for US and NATO military intervention grow louder every day, echoing from the halls of power in Ukraine to the streets of the Western world. Yet, the Western powers have opted for supplying aid rather than direct involvement. A direct confrontation, as President Biden emphasized, could trigger World War III, an unthinkable scenario. In the midst of this, Russia's President Putin has put the country's nuclear program on high alert. This raises the specter of nuclear war, a scenario that would have catastrophic consequences not just for the countries involved, but for the entire world. Then we have the US and Russia, 
two superpowers whose relationship has been marked by decades of tension and rivalry. The conflict in Ukraine has only exacerbated these tensions. Yet despite calls from some quarters for an end to U.S. support for Ukraine, the majority of Americans, according to recent polls, favor continued aid. These tensions, the potential for escalation, the threat of nuclear war, all paint a grim picture. But let's not forget the role of diplomacy and international institutions in maintaining peace. The United Nations, NATO, and other bodies are crucial in mediating these tensions and finding peaceful solutions. They remind us that dialogue, negotiation, and cooperation are our best tools in preventing conflict. While the specter of a third world war looms, we must remember the lessons of the past and work towards diplomatic solutions to prevent history from repeating itself. The echoes of the past serve as a stark reminder of the devastation that global conflict can bring. From the ashes of the First World War, we learned of the overwhelming human toll and the dire consequences of diplomatic failure. The Second World War further amplified these lessons, showing us the horrifying potential of technological advancements in warfare and the dangers of unchecked aggression. Today, we find ourselves in a world where tensions are escalating, where old alliances are tested and new threats are emerging. The specter of conflict looms over Ukraine, a poignant symbol of the geopolitical chess game that continues to play out on the world stage. The lessons from the world wars of the past century are not just historical footnotes, they are dire warnings. They serve to remind us of the importance of diplomacy, of mutual respect between nations, and of the collective responsibility we all share in maintaining peace. The echoes of the past reverberate not to haunt us, but to guide us. As we stand at this critical juncture, let us not forget the lessons of the past. The cost of war is too high and it is up to us to ensure that history does not repeat itself.